Hi Dairies, welcome to my channel. It's Becky here gracing your online screen with another interesting video. In this video, I'm going to be taking you guys through the different means of transportation that we use here in Nigeria. Some of them I use every day, some I use once in a while, and some I am yet to try out. If this is your first time in my channel, you are most definitely welcome. Feel free to join the family by clicking the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you can get free notifications whenever I make a new upload. If you're a returning subscriber, you know I love you so much. Thank you for clicking on this video to watch. So let's get right into the video. The first means of transportation that I want to talk about is bike, popularly called Okada in Nigeria. So if you're new in Nigeria or you're about to visit Nigeria and you hear people saying Okada, just know that they are talking about bike. Now, this means of transportation is easily accessible. It is fast and affordable, but it has a lot of controversy. In the past, the government has tried to ban this means of transportation because they do not want them to operate in the express roads. Using a bike in the express road is risky because they run very fast and it could cause accidents. The government has advised that this means of transportation should be used only in streets. But people still use them in express road because they are very good for escaping traffic. Because of their size, they are able to enter through corners and streets that the normal vehicles cannot enter. This means of transportation has become a major source of income since millions of men in Nigeria has opted for this business because of the high demand. It is easily accessible, it's affordable and very fast. Second means of transportation that I want to talk about is tricycle popularly called Kekena Pep in Nigeria. The means of transportation was introduced in Nigeria in 2001, but today it is one of the most used and popular means of transportation in Lagos, Nigeria. Just like bike, it is mostly used in the streets, but sometimes you also find them in expressways. People like to board this in expressway because it is also good to escape traffic because of their size. They are able to go into corners and streets that the normal vehicle cannot go into. This means of transportation has also become a major source of income for a lot of Nigerians. Young men and even elderly men have opted for this business because of the high demand. It is cheap, affordable and easily accessible. It usually carries four passengers, three at the back and one at the front with the driver, all together making five people in Kekenape. The next means of transportation is the commercial taxi. Now this is when private car owners use their cars to convey people to their destinations. You can usually find these people in car parks, filling stations and designated bus stops where they park their cars and wait for passengers that want to hire their services. This means of transportation is usually expensive but it is very useful especially during times of emergencies or maybe you're going for an event and you don't want to go through the stress of you know boarding a kekena pep or a bike or a danko which i'm going to tell you guys about later on in this video so the next means of transportation is the online taxi app which is the popular uber taxify and the likes this is when you order for a taxi through a mobile application and they come to your house pick you and take you directly to your destination it is very convenient, especially when you want to use it in times of emergency, for an event, for a business function, they can be very useful. People have said that this means of transportation is affordable. Some have said it is expensive. I think it depends on your financial capability. This means of transportation was introduced in Nigeria between 2014 to 2015, and it has gradually gained popularity and acceptance in the Nigerian space. They usually take between one to four passengers. They are also very good for navigating traffic because most of the drivers of these taxis use the Google Maps and that helps them to, you know, know when there's traffic and the best route to take. Or sometimes there's only one route to your destination. So you are still stuck in traffic even when you are using this mobile taxis. Next is commercial buses, popularly called Danfo in Nigeria. This is the most used and most popular means of transportation in Nigeria. This is when buses stop at different bus stops to drop and pick up passengers. 
so if you are to board this means of transportation you are expected to go to the closest bus stop to you and you wait for the next downfall available to pick you up to your destination it is affordable easily accessible but has no price stabilities the drivers of these buses dictate their prices based on fall price, traffic, and other factors. Sometimes you might have to board more than one downfall depending on how far your destination is. It has also become one of the major sources of income in the country since millions of men have opted for the business because of the high demand. Next is BRT, which means Bus Rapid Transit. This means of transportation was introduced in Nigeria since 2008 and has gradually gained popularity since then. It is presently owned and regulated by the government alone. It is safe, affordable, comfortable, but not that easily accessible because they have designated terminals where they drop passengers and pick up new ones. If you want to board a BRT, you will have to locate the closest terminal to you to get one. It is very good for escaping traffic because of the BRT lanes. These are lanes in the expressway created for BRT buses alone, hence reducing traffic. If you would like to know what a BRT terminal looks like, I have a video on one of the most popular and biggest terminals in Lagos, the Oshodi bus terminal. I'll leave the link in the description box so you can go check it out. Next that I want to talk about is railway. This is one of the oldest means of transportation in Nigeria. It is owned and regulated by the government alone. This means of transportation is still developing in Nigeria. There was a particular period that the railway system was completely not functioning in the country. But recently, the government has decided to visit the railway system. And now we have functioning trains and railway terminals in the country. This means of transportation is good for long distance trips and interstate trips. It is very useful for escaping traffic. There is no traffic in railway. So this is all I have to share with you in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope it helped you. If you did, then go ahead and click the like button. Also share the videos with your friends. It might be helpful to them as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and also click the notification bell so that you can get notified when I upload a new video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Love you.